Pying Takorn is one of the hottest Asian celebrities out there and I will do you a favor and actually put his face on screen rather than my face because I'm sure you would rather look at him than look at me. I would rather look at him than look at me. So yeah, so aside from being one of the hottest celebrities out there, he is a triple threat. He acts, he sings, uh, models, I don't know if he dances, uh, and he's also a businessman, so quadruple threat. And obviously he has the brains and he has the looks. He is from Myanmar, but he's also very popular in Thailand. He's done a lot of work there. Unfortunately, he's now in jail. Back in February, there was a coup d'etat, a military coup, and, and the military has taken over Myanmar again. They've had long history of battles against the military. They've always been under very strict uh, military authority. But prior to the February coup, they were actually starting to enjoy some freedom, some democracy under the democratic leadership. Unfortunately, as I've said, there was a coup d'etat. And so Takorn, along with, among us, with other celebrities, artists, and, and influencers went to the streets. They were protesting. They were using their influence social media to fight uh, the military coup. Uh, back in April, the military decided they don't want that. And so they decided to arrest many of the artists, influencers, and celebrities that joined the protest. Um, I do know that in Ju June or July, I think one of those two months, they said that they were going to release some of the influencers, artists, and celebrities. But as far as I know, Takorn isn't one of those released. If you do know better, if I'm wrong, please correct me. But that's as far as I know. Now, I do plead guilty for using him to make you watch my video because it's not entirely about him, not just about him, but actually about Myanmar. So I do hope that they regain their freedom. Um, I do believe in some amount of, of um, leadership. I mean, I, I believe that countries should have leaders and there should be regulations or laws. But I also believe that art should be allowed to flourish and that people should be allowed to say what they want to say for as long as they're not inciting rebellion. Uh, so I hope that they regain the the freedom that they started to enjoy actually they started opening up to the world people were starting to discover myanmar and they were starting to um, have some international relationship and i hope that flourishes um, that's it actually i just want to let people know as many people as they can as many people as possible to know about what's happening in myanmar and i do know that uh buying support is going to get out of this as as so do other celebrities that were in prison because of it because I believe that um, somehow some way art will find its way so that's it actually